returning. I'm back. But we also had a huge debut. A good, close, personal friend of mine. Because, you know, I'm always out here talking about me, talking about myself. This isn't about myself. This guy is a fighter. This guy went through hell. This guy cheated death. So I came out here to announce the debut of none other than Lucky Leo Zuko. I'm gonna be honest, I love him. And I'm so happy to be here finally at TCW. And I'm so happy my brother, Philly Mike, will be here with me. TCW! TCW! TC Dub! TC Dub! Oh shit! Oh, yeah. Alright, you guys having a good time so far tonight? So let's keep the action rolling right now with the following contest. And it is scheduled for one fall! Do these fans have to repeat that? Fans are having a good time. Hands are picked great all night. Well, 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 we look who it is. Hailing from Tom's River, New Jersey, weighing in at 255 pounds, he is the luckiest in the land, Lucky Leo Zuko. Lucky Leo Zuko making his TCW in-ring debut. This one's going to be good, folks. An interesting story that will tell as the match progresses between him and his opponent about to make his way to the ring. This one, to say is personal, would be an understatement. He's like the uh, home, almost hometown boy here. No doubt. I tear my heart open, I saw myself shut. My weakness is that I can't do much. And my scars remind me that the past is real. Tear my heart open just to fail. Introducing his opponent, Haley, from the city of hardcore, weighing in at 170 pounds. He is the game changer of professional wrestling, Billy Mike Swanson. You know what upsets me about Billy Mike Swanson? Probably everything. Well that, well, that and the fact that he, he represents the city of Philadelphia in his name. I can't stand the city of Philadelphia. All I know how to talk about are the Eagles and cheesesteaks, and neither one is that good. Well, he's billed from the city of hardcore. Philadelphia has been known to uh, represent a little bit of hardcore wrestling in its day. Bingo halls, you know, something like that. So he's trying to represent those ECW roots. And right here, Whoa. here we go, quick start. Right out the gate. Kick him right in the... Zero to 60, just like that. I'm trying to catch up over here. So, David Adams, you want to do us a favor and tell us why this one is so personal? Well, at the end of Wanted Dead, or just before the steel cage uh, war between Rick Recon and Blaze Haram, we were setting up the cage with the barbed wire, and it all started so innocently. Lucky Leo and uh, Philly Mike Swanson friends. Philly Mike was out there just telling people it's great to be back. Oh, oh, beautiful wrecking over. ball drop kick from Philly Mike Swanson. Oh, gosh. And Lucky Leo came out to support Philly Mike. And uh, yeah. one thing led to another, and Philly Mike Swanson just started beating the ever living crap out of Lucky Leo. Oh, gosh. Straight up disrespect. Can't tell me that wasn't personal. Best friends, better enemies, big running kick. Lucky Leo surviving brain surgery a couple years back. He had legit brain surgery. He, his life nearly ended. He recouped, he recuperated, he got back, he trained. He's back here, and now at TCW, he's getting an opportunity to perform. Philly Mike Swanson, he's been controversial all over the indies. We've given him an opportunity as well. These two gentlemen have legit beef, and this is the platform to see which man's gonna come out on top. More beef than an Outback Steakhouse between these two. Mm, I want steak. I'm playing into these uh, words tonight. Yeah, you're really. I'm coming at you. You're really milking it. <laughs> yeah, waka waka. 
As this action continues here, the serious matter in the ring. Lucky Leo, Philly Mike from their knees, battling back and forth. Forearm smash for forearm smash. These two men already given a full match effort in the first opening minutes of this war. Well, I must agree with the man's name. Uh, Leo Zuko is lucky because he has the fortunate pleasure of getting to slap around Philly Mike Swanson. Pe people from Philadelphia are just disgusting. Well, he's got him literally on the ropes right now, bringing him into the center of the ring. You can feel it, Mike Swanson up and over. Picture perfect suplex. Gotta, gotta make that cover though, but I think he just wants to lay into him a little bit. Uh, I don't blame him. That's a two count from Johnny Q as the action continues. Is this about a W? Is this about a brawl? Is this about teaching your frenemy, former best friend, a lesson? I think it's always about the W first and foremost. If you're not here to win, then what are you doing yeah. here? But this one, yeah, it's it's beyond just pinfall submissions and all that. This is to make a personal statement. Well, I mean, if I had a, a so-called, oh. quote-unquote, friend like Philly Mike Swanson, I'd slap him around, too. You're my, you're my friend, right, Alfonso? Yes, I am your friend, reluctantly. Uh, I'm, I'm used to it. Hey, uh, Leo, why don't you slap him up and tell him to get a haircut? Got him on the ropes again. What's he going to do? Wait, no, he's using the wrist tape there, David Adams? He sure is. Wrist tape? I don't see any wrist tape. Oh, man, you don't see a lot of things today, Alfonso. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm wearing my contacts, too. Lucky Leo taking a shortcut once again. At the expense of Philly Mike Swanson. Oh, gosh. Don't call it a shortcut, David Adams. It's a detour. Oh, so bad. Oh, that's not necessarily a false statement. But right now, Lucky Leo doing whatever he's got to do in his <coughs> TCW in-ring debut. Oh, gosh. Spilling down to the crowd right into the post. That's a game changer right there. You see, that's how you deal with people from Philadelphia. Again, Lucky Leo getting him up, and he might have another one for good measure, but no, smart. Beating the count, bringing him back in the ring. Probably going to lay into him a little bit more. But wait, what, has hey, he got his feet on the ropes? He wasn't doing anything wrong. He was just, just trying to get in a good are position. You sure your contacts are into that? Yes, they are. He was trying to get into a good position. He wasn't doing anything wrong. Well, regardless, really Mike Swanson needs to do something different here. Oh, and that'll work. He dropped Running. down a second to him. Oh, gosh. Here comes Philly Mike on the comeback trail. Got him. He's up on the top. Beautiful drop kick off the top. Stay on him. Lucky Leo is rattled in the corner here. Up and over to the outside. Oh, come on. Just raking his face across that top rope. He's got him up. Oh, whoa. Nice suplex and execution that time by my good friend, Lucky Leo Zuko. Swinging off the top rope. Not enough, though. You know what uh, Philly Mike Swanson and the Philadelphia 76ers have in common? I mean, I'm a Nets fan, but I don't think I want to hear this anyway. Do tell. I want to hear it. What do you got? They just can't win when it matters. Yikes. That's not a lie. As far as the basketball statement goes. He's got him up. Oh, man. Just slamming his head into that top. Three. Not again. Come on. Good. He needs a makeover. Wow. wow. Philly Mike Swanson able to get out of that, but no. Feeling the effects. Standing switch. Oh, he's got the ref. He just wanted to say hi to the ref. He mule kicked him right in the nether regions with the distraction. Oh, gosh. I didn't see a kick to the nether region. Trash, Come on! Trash compactor right on his dang head. That might be it, folks. That's got to be it. Wow. Wow. So you're saying, David Adams, that amongst that foul play, there was a little... Here uh, is your winner, Lucky Leo. He manipulated the referee's attention, and then he mule kicked him right into the wow. ding dong. And Lucky Leo Zuko takes out the trash. He's victorious over Philly Mike Swanson. The question is, is this rivalry over, dead in the water, or will Philly Mike Swanson get his redemption? Time will tell. Well, to answer that question, just like Swanson TV dinners, he's washed up. Yeah.